Denver Broncos Mile High View. No commercials, no bullshit. Now, you know, in the wake of the AFC Championship game and maybe uh, the NFC Championship game, to a lesser degree, you're having mindless sports talk radio and their mindless fans that follow it, cling to every word they say, salivating now for Drew Locke. You know why they're salivating? Because they saw Tom Brady. Well, you saw Tom Brady. We got to have Locke. Okay, you want you want Locke, huh? Well, first of all, uh, these type of fans who just only thing they can see is Tom Brady when they watch that game have no fucking clue what they actually were watching. They really have no fucking clue what they were watching. It was much more than Tom Brady. Uh, had If they had noticed, as I brought up in my Kansas City Chiefs rant, that uh, Tom, it's the lines. Tom Brady's line... Tom Brady didn't even get his uniform even scruffed, number one. Okay? And when they actually did put a little bit of pressure, guess what? He threw two interceptions, okay? Typical of any quarterback that's under some heat under those kind of weather conditions, okay? Same thing with Patrick Mahomes. You know, these are two good quarterbacks, don't get me wrong. But they are just cogs in a machine. If you really have to understand that machine. Um... So naturally, that's all you, you saw was was just uh, was just uh, was Brady, and you know if some of these defenses could actually have some balls and and you know maybe do what the Denver Broncos did or anybody in playing Sandlot football, a third of Brady's playbook and how much how how many times do you have to see this? Before you as a defender says, I'm going to put an inside linebacker, middle, excuse me, a middle linebacker, I'm going to put him just 10 yards, 7 yards in front of Tom Brady and park him there. And he's going to be, because this is a revolutionary idea, I guess, for teams. I just don't understand. How many times you see Edelman cut a slant to the same exact spot in front of Brady 50 times and you have no fucking way you have no clue to put a fucking defender there? That would take a third of his playbook away, right there. Another third of his playbook, and this is beyond the, the, the Patriots. This is just, like I said, I, I've, what you saw with Edelman continually doing the slant, 10 yards directly in front of Brady, it's just Sandlot football. And even a fucking moron who plays Sandlot football is going to park a defender there after they've seen it 99 times. Oh, and guess what Kansas City was doing? Guess what Kansas City was doing the next day? Oh, we're going to fire everybody uh, on our defensive, uh, our defensive side of the football. You fucking think? That yeah, was just, and it, you, you know what? Uh, the Chargers should say the same thing. I don't know what the fuck the Chargers were doing defensively. I, it was weird. It was like they almost got paid to lose that game defensively. Well, the line did, you know, was making at least somewhat of an effort, the San, the San Diego line, but it, it, the the secondary for the Chargers, they were like congregating together. I'd never even seen anything like that before. Just fucking weird, or just, you know, fire them, you know, whatever. So anyway, uh, <laughs> Brady was this awe-inspiring um, uh, motivation to get, to get Drew Locke. Well, I got a link here. For Drew Locke, and I want you to seriously comment, but you have to look at that video and tell me <clears throat> Locke is playing Alabama this year, and I want you to tell me that you see Brady. You do when they gave him, he, he throws a touchdown pass like Mahomes, even like Tom Brady, even. If you want to, yeah, in this regard, they gave him uh, like a rushed three, and they gave him like seven seconds to complete that pass. Now, if you think he's going to get that in the fucking NFL, you're on crack. You're on fucking crack. Now, you know, maybe Locke, I kept, and I keep saying it, maybe, you know, he would develop into a good backup. And this is a good year to get a backup. I keep saying it's a two-quarterback system. Two-quarterback system. you got to have a really good backup. <laughs> oh, he's a backup. <laughs> you know, you don't fucking even understand football. You fucking don't. 
backup is extremely important because guess what? When your God is injured, you know, your Tom Brady gets injured, and you got to maybe the best thing is to rest him six weeks, and you got shit for a backup, guess what? You're going to bring your quarterback in, your God in, four weeks instead of giving him all that, that six weeks. You gotta then you gotta hope, you know, after you you fucked up the four weeks, you gotta hope that he can come in. And that's kind of the Aaron Rodgers story. Mr. I don't want any co quarterback competition. Guy goes out and gets hurt and he plays hobbling around, you know, and he's just not like he is when he's healthy. You know, you need a smart quarterback. I'll I'll take Brady over Aaron Rodgers any day of the week just for the simple fact that he doesn't do what the heroic stuff that all the fans want is, you know, the Ben Roethlisberger, I got five guys on me, one's hit me in the head, too, as I throw the ball. No, he, he self-sacks. Guess what? Pop, he's back up, and he's just as good as new. You need a smart quarterback, you know, in that position. You need to have accuracy, smarts, but you need, you know, again, you need the lines. Let's get back to the lines. All you fucking Drew, and Drew Locke idiots out there, first pick. Okay, look at that fucking video and you tell me that's first pick material. I'm not saying the guy can't be developed or whatever, but you're telling me this is fucking first pick first pick in the draft. You are insane. Absolutely insane. And you know what it is too? It's the Cle it's Cle you have Cleveland Brown syndrome. And that is you'll take every brand new shiny quarterback that's it's in college. You know, you have no fucking clue what, what it is to put together a team. From the scouts to the water boy, you have fucking no clue. You know, you just don't get it. And it, the lines, you know what, I, I read a comment. You can pick up a, 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 a defense, a nose tackle cheap. Yeah, you want a fucking cheap defensive line? Go pick up your, your cheap uh, nose tackle. Do that. Yeah, don't, don't get Reuben Carter, whatever you do. Don't do that. No, that 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 you get your cheap so you can have fucking lock. You're a fucking moron. You're a fucking moron, and thank God you don't own a football team. But you would think you would, because some of the decisions that are made in the NFL, that's the kind of guys that are making them. But the smart ones have the teams that keep going to the to go into the playoffs, and it ain't all about Tom Brady. That those lines were were just smashing. The Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City should have, of course, they had a, uh, they have dickhead fucking Andy Reid who doesn't, can't put a game plan on the, in the big one, save his life. I mean, Belichick knew what to do. We got to run the football. Yeah, we have, guess what? We have Tom Brady, the God. But guess what? We're doing a lot of, we're running the football. Duh. What do you fucking think? And why couldn't the Chiefs do that too? I thought they were going to, I thought they had the advantage, right? Cold weather, all this. We're going to stop the run. We're going to, you know, go after. Of course, they don't have a defense. It's a joke. You know, I knew the, the Patriots. I mean, just the simple fact that the Kansas City Chiefs were defense could barely stop the Denver Broncos' shitty offense told me they weren't going to win that game. And that, and Andy Reid's a fucking idiot. But um, anyway, this whole fucking Drew Locke thing, give me a break. Go check out the video, and, and you know, and, and I'm not saying this video is to, is to condemn him to death. They, he's hopeless, and, and, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, you couldn't develop him, but I don't see, I see, a, you know, the good backup. That's what I see. But it only took that AFC championship game to think that Locke is somehow now uh, Tom Brady.